Hi there, welcome to my video on how to track student progress in Thinkific. In this video, I'm going to show you where and how you can track your students' progress in Thinkific and view their progress from when they started the course to when they last finished the course and when uh, their last login is. Uh, the reason why I think this is really important is because oftentimes with online courses, completion rates are really low. Uh, the other uh, side of it is also if you are selling courses uh, to an organization or to a corporation, they're going to want to be able to see your student uh, progress rates. Uh, they may also want to be able to see the groups um, that they've enrolled in your courses and see how they're doing. So it's a combination of being able to know for yourself how the students who are buying your course are doing. And also if you're selling this to organizations, they may want a report on student progress. So uh, let's get started. Uh, Go ahead and log into your Thinkific account if you haven't already. I am in my portal account. And the one, one thing I'm going to look for in the Thinkific um, portal and dashboard is this support your students tab. I'm going to click on the support your students. And as you see, there's kind of all these different options here, but I wanna look for progress because this is where I'm going to be able to see my progress reports. So here you can see that I have all these different courses that I can check individual progress reports for. And that is uh, helpful in one instance is to be able to say, okay, I'm gonna click on progress reports and um, see that there's really nothing to report because this is a demo account. But if there was something to report, uh, then this would all be laid out here for you to see. Now, I want to show you, uh, let's just say you have a student who was enrolled in multiple courses uh, that you offer, and you want to specifically check how those students are doing, um, because those are students who have bought a significant amount of courses from you. So in that instance, what you can do is go to the Support Your Students tab again, and then look for Users. And under users, you want to select the users that are um, part of the group that you want to measure uh, because those are the group that has bought a lot of courses from you. So you want to check, well, is there any factor in that students who are spending more money on courses are completing them at a higher rate? So what I can do is select uh, the course uh, users and uh, check the ones. And then what I'm going to do is add them to a group. So let's just say these are part of my uh, corporate uh, learning group and I want to check on their progress uh, for myself and provide a report to the hiring HR person and or um, manager. So I'm going to add them to this group. So my corporate university and then click apply. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is go to groups. And in this group, uh, I'll have multiple groups here. I want to look at this corporate university because that's the one I'm specifically interested in. And then I'll click on this menu bar, uh, these three dots, and then click on go to progress. And it'll tell me um, when the course was started, uh, when they activated their login, and then when they last signed in. So this is useful because, for example, if I notice like someone last signed in in December, and now it's been a few months, I might want to then focus on nudging uh, this individual person and saying, hey, I noticed it's been a few months since your last uh, sign in. How are you doing? How can I help? Um, it's just a little bit of a extra support and nudge for your students to show that you care and that you're hearing them and you're checking in on them. Um, in a world of online courses uh, where it's easy to sell and by a lot of courses, uh, personalization, I think is really important and it really stands out in terms of repeat business and uh, customer retention. Uh, the last thing I want to mention is that the progress report, you can just sort of view it while you're looking at the screen here. Uh, but if you want to provide a report, you can export it as a CSV and then organize it and create a uh, bar chart or create some high level uh, summaries, uh, not only for yourself, but for um, someone in HR or the manager. So 
I hope that helps. Uh, let me know if you have questions, comments, uh, leave a comment, give the video a like if you like it, um, subscribe, and uh, let me know how I can help. Thanks again.